Welcome back to Wasteland 2. We've been doing some exploring out west, just going off the beaten path, looking for new things, just finished up our little escapade at the Levalupe mine, and just visited this mysterious shrine that the people that I saved gave me as a reward. I think it's about time to go to the prison, but I want to explore a little bit more, so let's go up here, see if we can find some stuff. See what's going on. Run away. Uh, I don't think we can go this way, can we? Nah. Okay. In that case, I guess we've explored out west, unless I want to go up more. No, that's all explored, yeah. That's all explored. Alright, I think it's time to go to the prison, but I do want to sell some of the stuff I've gathered and restock my supply of ammo, especially. Because I burned through a lot of ammo shooting those damn badgers with 200 plus hit points. So let's do a quick restock mission, not going to spend too much time here. Also want to see what I can get for that shit by giving it to TNT 10. For I have not had the pleasure of dumping a steaming load of bat shit into his hands before. I also want to see if I have anything more to add to the museum. Let's see. Nope. Any more information about that map, Sagara? Yes! Well, I found something. And the only problem is... It doesn't make any sense. There are only two places where these names exist in one geographical area. One is right here in Arizona, but they can't be right because we've never heard of any of the groups or people named in the transmissions. The other is, well, it would be Los Angeles, but that can't be right either. Los Angeles doesn't exist. It got blown up with the rest of the world when the bombs flew. As far as we've ever been able to determine, Arizona is the only place on Earth that survived the apocalypse. Really? Are you sure Los Angeles doesn't exist? Well, I'm not sure of anything anymore, but it seems highly unlikely. The much more likely explanation is that, they, that these are old transmissions, talking about people and places that died long ago. Yeah. My mother read all kinds of books to me when I was young. Ivanhoe, King Arthur, The Chronicles of Narnia, Dragonlance. She said I didn't need no other education. Nice. I think Los Angeles does exist, because I'm pretty sure I've heard it mentioned before by the developers. It's interesting though, so I'm going to discover an entire massive location that the Rangers don't even think exists. And obviously the Los Angelians or whatever apparently don't think that we exist, most likely. Interesting. Alright, TNT Tan. Got some prime grade shit for you. Have a look at this shit. Shit, yeah, let's have a look. Eighteen bucks. Well, that's better than I'd get from somebody else, I suppose. I think I have one more. Who has the other shit? You have it. Oh no, three of them. 
Nice. See if he gives me something special. Good shit, brother. Good shit. Keep it coming and I'll keep paying. Alright. So I'm going to sell all of our junk, buy a couple bullets, and I will be on my way. So I'll be right back. Well, I've gone ahead and sold most of my junk, and I officially recruited Takayuki and got the merit bonus for everybody, so that gave Yulia another level, which I have yet to claim. But I'm about to buy a couple things. I'm going to buy about 30 rounds of assault rifle ammo, because I really need it. I'm going to buy a combat knife for Takayuki, because it is way better than a pickaxe. As you can see with its stats right there, it does quite a bit more damage. Greater critical chance, less critical damage multiplier, but it also has better armor penetration and it takes an entire AP less. It's way, way better. More damage, less AP. Yeah, it's nice. The only bad thing that I can tell compared to the pickaxe is the fact that the pickaxe can attack diagonally, whereas the combat knife cannot. But I don't think that's a big deal. And also, they have another M16 in stock, so I'm going to replace Theodore's weapon with that. Also, I am going to install a bunch of mods. So let's get going on that. Helen is horrendously overburdened. <laughs> yeah, she's holding over 100 pounds. Damn, that would not feel good. Okay, let's install the grip tape. There we go. There's your new weapon, Takayuki. Now we're good to go. Let's go to prison. Realize you can actually speed up time. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, got to watch the radiation, make sure it doesn't get too bad. Okay, it's fine. The prison. Oh, hell. Sorry. 
It's fine. It's fine. Next time. Happy Valley, huh? So much garbage here. Hello, Fred Darvis. <laughs> oh, you don't want to talk to me? Oh, now you want to talk. Uh. What does that say, pick up? Are you a person or a doll? Looks like this guy pissed off the wrong person. Or people. Happy Valley brochure. Farmer's Diary, part one. Oh, no. Happy Valley wasn't that happy. This crumpled flyer features a drawing of smiling, happy people standing outside a cottage with a white picket fence. It reads, When you're ready to stop wandering, come to Happy Valley. You'll never leave. Oh my god. Calm down, goat. Whoa. That is the hardest fucking goat to, to talk to. And her animal whisperer skill is actually pretty good. It's four. <laughs> uh, what percentage is it? Thirteen percent. Well, none of these are actually listed as thirteen percent, but I'm assuming it's a level a level six challenge, the ten percent one. Seems to be the closest. Well, if I do this, give her a little bit of a better skill. <laughs> Alright, well, before I do that, let's talk to this person. The old man has a face like the back end of a porcupine, and only three teeth in his mouth. All the color of snot. Ew. Rangers return into the prison? Must be the end of the world. Again. Why you here? You finally came around to help, or are you just looking to trade? <laughs> How can... <laughs> How can we help? Help? For me or the town? If you want to help the town, you're too late. Since the Red Scorpion Militia moved into your old prison HQ, they've stolen, burned, and raped everything in this valley. I mean everything. My poor goat didn't walk right for a week. I'd- oh no! I'd be- I'd be out of this hellhole, but my wagon is stuck in this ditch. Ain't that just how life is? So you're telling me your wagon got stuck and they raped your goat? What the fuck? That's a shitty week if I've ever heard one. If you want to help me st- uh, Stop talking and start pushing. Okay. I think I finally have a time to use... Brute Force. Or, or not? Do you want to use it? There you go. Wonderful. Thanks, Rangers. Now I can get the hell out of here. Want to trade anything before I leave? <laughs> is that normal for a goat to scream like that? It truly is an awful sound. I think it picked it up from folks around here. Lots of screaming around these parts. Fair enough. Goats are just like parrots, right? What can you tell us about the red scorpions? Calling them that is an insult to scorpions. 
They keep saying they're the law around here, but telling people what to do and killing them if they don't do it ain't the same as law. At least not how I remember it. What can you tell us about the prison? I'd stay away from the prison if I were you. Got gun turrets up there that'll kill you on sight. You heard of Demonta? You wanna ask Red about that? He's forever going on about Demonta this and Demonta that. Especially when he's drunk. <laughs> Might head out there myself. If I could find rad suits to fit this here goat. I suppose you could modify a rad suit. <laughs> you really care about your goat that much? I'm impressed, actually. You have any rad suits for sale? Can't say as I have such specialty items. If anyone around here had something like that, it'd be red. But watch out. He's a sharp trader. Not a kindly sort like me. Where can we find Red? His junk shop's at the top of Goat Hill. Just listen for the screams. <laughs> Watch out for his turrets, though. If you don't have a password, they'll chew you up. He calls it his preferred customer code. Goat Hill. Listen for the screams. Gotcha. Do you know what the password is? Hmm. Last time I went up there, I think it was preferred, but he changes it up a lot. Okay. Well, let me write that down just in case. You must travel around a lot. Seen anything notable in the wastes? Well, I've watched this place go to shit since you rangers left. That's worth mentioning. What else? I once got chased by this huge red worm-looking thing, acid dripping from its mouth. I had the the rids to my back, so I had nowhere to run. I'd gotten one of my goats, swallowed it in two bites, but kept coming. I thought I was royally fucked. Gonna end up as worm food twice over. Then this blue woman, yeah, glowing blue, comes screaming out of the rad clouds and starts wailing on the worm. I ran like hell and didn't look back. Hope that angel of a woman survived. A blue woman. Glowing blue. Okay. Oh, there's this place. A place that came uh, came by my way here. Out of the way. Very peaceful. Brewer here knocked off that awful scream for nearly a week after we went there. Bod like a normal, not making me shit myself goat instead. It was nice while it lasted. Mysterious Shrine? Yes. Anything to trade? <laughs> oh, a little stuff I could get back home. Yeah, I'm good. Well, I suppose I could have my mobile phone. Goodbye. Now, is this guy going to be pissed if I steal his goat? Nonetheless, though, I kind of want to try. Don't critically fail, don't critically fail, don't critically fail. He likes you. He doesn't like anyone. Wait, is he gonna keep screaming? If he's gonna keep screaming, then... Oh, God. I don't want him. You can have him back! Did that actually do anything? I can't talk to him. Which means I can't dismiss him. Is he... Is he following us? No. Huh. So it didn't really do anything. Other than made him realize that the goat likes us. Oh, does that unlock more places for him to, t <laughs> for him to tell me? 
Or is he just gonna say the same thing that he said before? Blue, uh huh. Hmm. Okay. You give me a better price? No. Huh. I guess it was just for the fun of it. Alright, I'll listen for the screams of Goat Hill. Ooh. Somebody's looking for Elroy. You know, I think I saw something about Elroy in a quest related to that in some video a really long time ago when they were showing off the game. Two plastic spheres on a narrow length of rope. They make a satisfying snap when you swing them and they smack together. Clickety clacks. Wait, did they? Oh shit, they already left. Well, goodbye, my friends. Who is hanging from there? What the fuck? It looks like they looks like they've been burned. Poster reads: Laws will be followed. The unlawful will be punished. Welcome to Happy Valley, the safest place in Arizona. Okay. Sure. Happy Valley? This place is more like clinically depressed a ditch. Yeah, wait, this is Happy Valley? It's in a fucking valley. There isn't even a gate around the place. I thought it was up here. I just assumed Happy Valley was forwards. A red scorpion is painted on the sign above, along with the word hell. You've woken up with a headache and an empty bottle of snake squeezins in worse places. <laughs> huh. Alright. Check this place out down here. Please. If you can hear me, please come back. Don't let me die alone. I can't take the pain any longer. Shit, I need to find that woman. Amigo pants. The well appears to be broken. Time to roll up your sleeves and get to repairing it. Huh, okay. Actually, hold on, let me switch out her figurines. Ooh. That's a hard one. An old woman looks to you with a tired and frustrated look in her eyes. Old Marco's too damn lazy to fix the well, so we ain't got no water pump. Red Scorpions ain't gonna help. He said that weren't a problem, and took to drinking squeezins instead. Over there in his man cave, as he calls it. Can't drink in peace no more with that harpy screeching at me. Harpy. Your well is broken? Unless you can sober my husband up and turn his hand to... Mechanican. <laughs> I need somebody to look at that well. We're low on water and I don't care to join Marco in his bottle of squeezins. Fair enough. I think my ability to convince him is probably going to be better than my ability to repair the well. Don't the Red Scorpions take care of things? They took our crops. Took our equipment. Any day now, they'll take the farm, too. The price of law and order, they calls it. I call it murder by inches. They hung old George on that topple tower to remind us what happens when we break their laws. What law did George break? Just the one about curiosity and the cat. 
He asked them why we had to follow their laws. That was their answer. We follow their laws as best we can now. Wish we had to get up and go to move to DeMonta, but that ain't gonna happen. God bless his soul. Oh, it's Marco, butting in. Where is DeMonta? I believe it's off to the, to the east. Plenty of our neighbors been heading there. Marco and me, we just too tired to move. Besides, you need rad suits to get there. We can't afford any fancy gear like that. I was just about to ask, where would you get them? Rad suits? Maybe ask Red. He'd like he's like to know. He's got all kinds of stuff at his place, but you need the password to get past his turrets. Last I heard it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I'll write that down anyway, just in case. Who is Red? He's a local junk dealer. No more honest than he has to be. Lives on Goat Hill. That's a downwind of here, thank goodness. I see now he looks at you. Bet not go near him, woman. Best not go near him, woman, that is. Alright. Yeah, I'm not too worried. So if I can convince this lout to repair the damn thing. Oh. I can't even talk to him. <laughs> Unhand me, you damn varlet. Or varmint, or whatever. I don't like being prodded. Mister, I told you once, I'm a mean drunk. I'm not afraid of all you. I don't care much for you, ranger. Alright. Do I try to repair it? I suppose I could try to blow it up. But, oh, what the hell? This place is more like depressed to ditch. This place fucking blows. Alright, get to repairing. Don't give yourself tetanus now. Hold on, what was that chance of critical failure? 35? Okay, well... The chance of success... The chance of success is lower than the chance of failure. Well, lower than the chance of critical failure, which means that... Over time... My chance of being able to repair this is a little bit lower than my chance of failing and never being able to repair it. Not much, but a little bit. It's like, I don't know, a 40-60% chance. Do you have any extra skill points? No. Wait a minute, what's your... Oh, yeah, your repair skill's three. Oh, wait, your repair skill's three, which means I can actually get it up to four. Yeah, I can get it up. I can finally get it up. Much better. M's much better chances. Your canteens have been topped off. Nice. Bless you. Maybe now you fixed our well, you'll try your hand at fixing them red scorpions. If so, then I got the proper tool for you. Here, Marco's too drunk to shoot the dang thing anyway. Damn it, woman! I was gonna trade that gun for squeezins. Ooh, she gave me a FAMAS, which actually is not better than what I already have. But nonetheless, it's a decent weapon. I can sell for a decent amount, or I could strip it. I'll leave it for now. Oh, 
Alright, what's going on with you? Who are you burying? Red Scorpions came for us yesterday morning. I knew there weren't no point arguing, but she was always headstrong. They told us we had to pay an untilled field tax. She asked how we could till the field when they've taken our plow for not paying our property insurance. At first I thought she was funny. Crazy woman screaming at a gang of armed men. I just stayed inside and prayed. And she started calling their taxes what they really are. Protection money. Extortion. Daylight robbery. That shamed them. So they gunned her down while... While all I did was stand and watch. I'm gonna have to do some killing. I mean, of course I'm gonna try to negotiate first. But, let's, let's be honest, I'm probably gonna end up shooting them. What is the untilled field tax? They say it's a fine for farmers who are being unproductive. It's really just another way for them to steal poor farms and give them to their friends. Like Jim... the slaver. Tell me about our some friend of the Scorpion who said they, uh, who they set up with a fake farm. They want potential homesteaders to see it and think they'll have all, they'll all have one just like it if they move here. What a joke! All they're doing is working on Big Jim's farm like all the other slaves. Ain't nothing but a honey trap. What do you mean by property insurance? Just another name for protection money. They're trying to drive us into the ground. And with me, and Nessie, they succeeded. Why are you working the ground there? Wait, what do you, what do you, I don't understand the question. You mean, why is he burying her? Oh, rather than dig two graves, I thought I'd just dig one, one big one and crawl in with her. Well shit, that's depressing. Who is she? My wife, Nessie. The woman I deser I never deserved. Yeah, see ya. Uh, are you digging your own grave? I mean, well, I guess you are digging your own grave. But, like, if I don't stop you, are you literally gonna die? Are you gonna shoot yourself? Like, what, what are you doing? Corpse of a woman li the corpse of a woman lies in this hole. Looks like she was shot to death several times. Let me give you a hand. Well, okay then. Can't think of anything to do. Can't bring her back to life, can I? I don't have those powers? Okay. The bridge appears to be lowered and raised by this large lift. That's not gonna work on this thing. It's way too broken. Oh. Can I fix it? this thing goes, but nice. What was the point of that? Oh, I guess you actually can't get here from the front, yeah. Because if I try to click here, they just try to go back and go around. Interesting. What does this lead? Hmm. 
Oh shit. Oh fuck. Chaos? What the hell? I think we need to do some saving. Chris Van Overbake. What? Alright. Well, let's come up around behind their asses. Excuse me, what's going on here? Please don't! I won't do it again, I promise! Alright, gentlemen, that's enough. She's learned her lesson. Haven't you, Gladys? Yes, Mr. Von Over... Van Overbake. It's Van, not Von, right? Von would be V-O-N. A prim little man in a pinstripe suit and wire rim glasses. His mouth is as pinched as a closed purse. You there. Stop where you are. Desert Rangers, huh? I'm Assessor Van Overbake, and on behalf of the RSM, let me welcome you to Happy Valley. Stay as long as you like, but be aware that you'll have to pay your taxes just like everybody else. Now, how many weapons do you have? Why do you care about our weapons? In an attempt to curb violence and the over-proliferation of weapons, the RSM, Governing Council, has instituted a weapon tax. That will be $100, payable directly to me. Now, will you pay it? <laughs> Excuse me? A weapon tax. Hmm. Will I pay it? That's a good question. That is a very good question. I don't want to pay it, I want to say fuck you, but at the same time, before I know more about the situation... Shouldn't I not try to ruffle any feathers until I know more? I know these people are pieces of shit, but... Maybe there's a better way to go about this. And it's not a good start to finding a better way if I start out by... Perhaps making them enemies? So... For now, I'll say, sure. Let's go, boys. We're done here. Yeah! Me and Chaos gonna tear you up! Right, Chaos? Chaos? Guys, wait up! <laughs> I don't know if I've ever met somebody more in need of a foot up the ass. No kidding. Gotta pick our battles, though. And I'm sure I'm gonna be battling him soon, but not yet. I'm probably gonna talk my way out of it, but... Be careful. This pre-recorded message is brought to you by... RSM Enterprises, Inc. Happy Valley isn't just about safety, it's about quality of life, too. We have the finest farms in the Arizona wastes, with more than enough food to feed everyone who joins us, and cozy little general stores, too. We also have an arrangement with the high pool that assures that we will never run out of water. Truly, there is no place in Arizona more pleasant than Happy Valley. I'm Commander Danforth of RSM Enterprises, and I approve this message. There, I didn't fuck it up this time. Satisfied now? <laughs> Thank you, Commander Danforth. That was fine. Might want to remember to turn off the uh, microphone there, buddy. Oh shit, I yeah, I remember seeing this place in screenshots. This is one of the places they demoed off, wasn't it? This gas station. I think so. Anyway, I think I'll end this episode here before it becomes 50 bajillion hours long. Made some decent progress into the prison. Befriended a screaming goat. And, uh, yeah. Getting to know the locals. Mingling. And stuff. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.